Hi there. The uniform distribution on an interval AB models what could be called a completely random point between A and B. In this video we will look at a way to specify a sequence of random points in time that takes place uniformly and completely at random. There are many random events you could regi register in time. Events that you may think of are banks that go broke, buses arriving at the bus stop, or incoming calls at a service center. The following timelines show possible occurrences of these events. The events are depicted as arrows on the lines. I have omitted the timescales to have you focus on the patterns. Can you see which is which? And which would you consider to be the most random? Here are three more realizations of the same types of processes. The pattern that I think is present in the third timeline is that there seems to be clustering. Immediately after an event occurs, the probability of a next event increases. In the second timeline, apart from some noise, there seems to be a regular pattern. For example, there may be three bus lines, each with a frequency of one per hour and with some 15 minutes between them according to the schedule. Of course, buses never arrive exactly on time. Do you agree that the first timeline corresponds the best to completely random? In order to get some feeling for what is meant by uniform and completely random process, let's consider the following procedure. We split up the time interval 0 10 in a thousand small intervals of length 0 0.01. And for each such interval, we define a Bernoulli distributed random variable with success probability p equals 0.02. So we need a thousand of these variables, which we take independent. We let the computer do the work. In class you will learn how to simulate such Bernoulli random variables. The start of this sequence of zeros and ones could look like this. Now we say there is a random point in the ith subinterval if the corresponding Bernoulli variable xi gets the value 1. In our example, the fourth Bernoulli variable equals 1, and we indicate the corresponding random point by an arrow at the center of the fourth time interval. We do the same along the whole sequence of 1000 values. We zoom out and get a view of the time interval 0, 10, with all the random points thus generated. This gives the realization of a random process on the interval 0, 10, that is sort of completely random. Let us take a closer look at the process we have just created. We denote by MAB the function that counts the number of events, or arrows, between time A and time B. So M05 is the number of arrows in the interval 0, 05. And this is in fact the sum of 500 independent Bernoulli variables. All with parameter 0 0.02. We know the distribution of such a sum. It is binomial with n equals 500 and p equals 0 0.02. In exactly the same way, the number of arrows in the whole interval 0, 10 has a binomial distribution with parameters n equals 1000 and p equals 0 0.02. Beautiful. An important observation is each binomial distribution has a large n and a very small p. We know that such a binomial distribution can be very well approximated by a Poisson distribution, and the parameter of this associated Poisson distribution is the product of n and p. You see, Monsieur Poisson agrees. This leads to the following approximations of the distributions of M05 and M010. For the process we are considering, the number of events in AB is a random variable. We know its distribution and its expectation. Indeed, the expectation equals n times p, where n is the number of subintervals of length 0 0.01 in AB. This can be rewritten in a form with a special interpretation. Note that n divided by the length b minus a equals 100, 
which is exactly the number of subintervals in an interval of length 1. Multiplying this by p, we get the expected number of points in any interval of length 1. This number is called the intensity of the process and is usually denoted by lambda. Now we can rewrite the expectation of MAB as shown on the slide and find that the expectation of MAB equals the intensity of the process times the length of the interval AB. There is another property that emerge emerges from our construction of the process M. Consider two disjoint intervals, say AB and CD. Then MAB is based on a certain chunk of independent Bernoulli variables and MCD is based on a different set of Bernoulli variables. So the random variables MAB and MCD will be independent too. In summary, the random variables MAB and MCD are both independent and approximately have Poisson distributions. Moreover, the expected value of MAB is the intensity of the process times the length of the interval. These, in fact, are two important characteristics of the process that is the subject of this lecture, the Poisson process. Indeed, here's the definition. The Poisson process with intensity lambda is a stochastic point process on the line with the following two properties. First, the number of points in an interval AB, denoted by NAB, is a random variable with expectation lambda times B minus A. And second, the numbers of events in disjoint intervals are independent random variables. From this definition, it follows that the number of events in a specified interval has a Poisson distribution. As with probability distributions, the Poisson process models an ideal situation. No real physical phenomenon will behave exactly as a normal variable. Likewise, in reality, a Poisson process will only take place approximately. For the three processes in the example, the bankruptcies will take place dependent of each other and the buses arrive according to some schedule. So for those two cases, the Poisson process will not be a good description. However, the incoming calls from many potential customers, acting independently, will behave more or less as a Poisson process. Well, I guess the intensity will be lower during the night, so let's say we only consider office hours. Another physical context where the Poisson process gives quite an accurate approximation is the ticks a Geiger counter gives off in the vicinity of some radioactive source. I conclude with an exercise. Suppose clients arrive at the shop according to a Poisson process with an intensity of three clients per 10 minutes. What is then the probability that exactly four clients arrive in a period of 15 minutes? Hooray for your stamina to stay with me till the end. Goodbye.